I'm so funny. But like, look how cute. I like it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing really good. Don't mind the crazy hair and everything. It's the morning. I just woke up and I forgot my coffee. I forgot to bring out my coffee. I'm really sad about that. Can we do this without the coffee, Kim? I don't know. It's very sad. Very sad. So I'm doing a different kind of video today. Actually, I have these two huge boxes of really huge, hopefully, because <laughs> I never ordered from here before, uh, winter clothes, like, uh, and fall, fall and winter clothes. Uh, where I live, it gets really freaking cold in the winter. So yeah, I ordered some stuff because it was all on sale. And then I found an additional coupon to use on top of that, which brought the items down to like $2, $3, $4, $5. So I got like really good, uh, warm things for and cute for fall and winter. So I'm gonna share that. I also have some new books that I bought from this older bookstore. And I have some really cool kind of like different videos coming from my channel just to kind of spice it up a little bit different from the readings that I usually do. But I still have many readings coming. Trust me, if you saw the readings that are filmed right now on my phone, like my phone is literally at limited storage. So hopefully I can get this all filmed. We're going to start with um, the clothes and then I think we're going to do the book haul. So I'll timestamp when each is. So if you rather see the book haul, you can fast forward to that. And then if you'd rather see the clothes, you could just keep watching. Um, grab your own coffee, don't forget it. It's very sad when you do. Um, so we'll start here. Now, I think I know what this is. I think. I'm not the best at opening things and I should have come better prepared. These are cute for fall. Now, I didn't necessarily like the chains on them, but that doesn't mean I have to keep the chains on here. I figured I, if I don't like the chains, which I, I really don't, even though it says queen, like how cute is that? I think you can take these off of here and if not, I'll just like cut them off because I, like I said, I got them for like $3 and I really don't want the chains on here. How cute is this for fall, you guys? Like, isn't this cute? Hold on. Let me get it on right. Isn't this cute for fall? So this and like a little like cute little white tank and a flannel and some black leggings and some boots and it's dark brown. It's dark brown. Um, I was going to get black, but I like the dark brown just because I feel like every girl on YouTube or every girl that gets one of these hats, I don't know if it's on right either. I think it might be. If not, I flip it around the other way. I think it's on right. Um, every girl that gets one of these hats has a black one. And I was like, oh, though the black ones are cool. I wanted something different. It kind of looks black in the camera, but it's dark brown. So I got this one. And like I said, I don't like the chain. So, um, I don't know. It's just not me. But for like two or dollars, I think it was like two fifty or three dollars. I was like, yeah, because everywhere I've looked online just to get just a, a normal hat for fall, they're so expensive. Oh, and I forgot to mention where I got all this stuff from. This is from Rainbow's um, Rainbow Clothing Store. So I used to shop there actually a few times. Oh gosh. So I have another one here it's a little bent that's okay though I'll get it to shape right it's a little bent but um it just came in the box today and I was so excited to film this so this one's really cute too it's tan and it's really cute <laughs> and when I'm actually like put together and dressed and have my contacts in and my makeup on and like probably curl my hair and, like a little flannel and some cute boots can you picture it can you picture it just just I'll probably I'll probably try these things on as I go. How cute. How cute. And I was like, I couldn't believe these weren't sold out. Because like a lot of their stuff, as I was shopping for things, they were selling out as I was like shopping. And I was like, oh geez. And these being so cheap and they're so expensive online, typically I was like, oh geez. I got them. I finally got my fall hats. 
I've been wanting one for a while, so. Oh, and I, I wouldn't call myself, well, I guess like a cheap shopper, but I am a cheap shopper. Like I'm not cheap. I'm just smart with my money. Um, I am. I, I give some away to friends that need it more than me. Um, I donate things. I, you know, and I, I, I would say frugal. I'm frugal with my money. Like I, I like to think about what I'm going to purchase before I purchase it. Just treat Kim time because Kim has been working so hard lately and I felt like I deserved it. So we're going to start. Um, so I got some things in like plus size because I got a big booty and um, <laughs> I just thought I'd try them. So I'm excited to try these things. I got a lot of leggings and sweaters and things, but how cute are these? Oh, I hope these fit. These might be too small. They're really cute though. They're pink and they're mesh. I'm gonna try them on. They're very tight, very tight, but they fit, they fit me. Oh, they fit. So I might have to return these for a bigger size because damn, they be tight. They fit, they're just tight. Oh, okay. And then I got these. And these are one slash two X. They're really cute. These have a detail at the top. So that's good. These fit real nice. And I got some really cute pink ones. These are really cute. Really cute pink. Oh yeah, I'm gonna love these ones. These ones are really comfy and lightweight and that's like my cup of tea right there. But like a really cute little pink kimono. So yeah, this is just like a nice like oversized kimono. Just a nice kimono. I thought it was cute with a little white tank under tie it here. Tuck that part in maybe. I don't know what I'm doing. Or just let it be nice and cute. And baby, I just thought it was really cute. I really like this actually. Okay, so I got um, a little set and it's olive green. It's kind of like, so it's a little crop top, you know? And I just thought it was really, really cute. Kind of like Gucci-esque a little bit. And I actually have a like Gucci purse that would match this. Okay, and these are extra large, so they should fit. I went with this, we're sold out, but since they both have like the white and the black and like, it'll work. Yeah. But I took advantage. I was like, these things are so inexpensive and you can't find like winter clothes that are warm for cheap anymore, it seems like, unless you go to like thrift shopping and uh. So this isn't a large, this is really cute. It's a cropped sweater in this like, hold on, in this sage, sage color. And it's just like a little cropped hoodie. Like, how cute is this? This is so me. This is really so me. <laughs> I probably could have gotten like a small, like up top I'm really small, but like my butt is big. So that it like fills out <laughs> my pants. So, but this is really cute. It feels warm. It feels great for winter, like fall. So I'm really excited about this. I got a pair, another pair of, um, olive green leggings because I got two pairs of fleece lined leggings so they'll be super warm for winter and I'm glad I got these in a 2x because it's oh and they're so nice and stretchy and soft oh yes I'm loving these already I might have to return those pink ones I don't know 
and get some more of these because <laughs> these are my kind of jam and I can wear these with the set too that I just showed you guys the olive green one but these are really cute and plus like this is fun this is fun for me because like I literally never treat myself to clothes <laughs> If you're a mom, you know, like you're always buying stuff for your kids, your husband, like everyone else but you, so. And I'm not really like a material girl. However, I do like to have some nice warm things, especially for winter. Um, and my, I do have a North Node in Taurus, so my North Node in Taurus is very pleased with me. Look how cute this is. It's lavender. It's cropped. It's cute. It's so cute. Can, you can see me wearing this. Yeah, I can see me wearing this for sure. So I'm glad I got this one. It's definitely cute. I like it. These hot pink. And what size are these? 2X. These are really cute. These almost look too big. Which is confusing. So it's like 1X is too small. 2X is too big. Like, what is this? I'm going to try these on real quick. These are really cute. It's just they're like too big. <laughs> I can't win you guys. I'm telling you. They're either too big or too small, but maybe I can return these two for a one. And if not, I'll just keep them. And just, I mean, they're comfy. So, I mean, there's that. Sizes go. This is going to be a very interesting video. Oh, I got yellow ones. Wow, Kim, you were, you were thinking on the bright side of things, huh? So, what size are these? These are extra large. Like, bright. Really cute. And this looks perfect. Like, exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, it's perfect. It's like the perfect size. It's like exactly what I wanted. I can roll up the sleeves if I want to. Oh, it's so warm, you guys. This is exactly what I wanted. Like, I'm, I'm really happy about this. Yes, I am. <laughs> so I needed, like, I love hoodies in the, when it's cold. And this one's gonna keep me warm because it's got, it's got major fleece on the inside and it's so warm like I'm telling you I just put it on and I was sweating which is great that's a great sign now they only gave me the top they gave me the top it's a 1x and they were supposed to give me pants to go with this but this is really cute It is cute. It's very cute. I might just keep it because, oh yeah, I'll, I'll wear this. So then I got this sweater. It's the same as the black. It's a black. Really cute, right? It's like $3 and it's warm. It's warm, it's just a hoodie, but like, Guys, I live for stuff like this. It is, it's cute. It's very cute, three dollars. Three dollars, why the fuck not? Okay, so large and large, and hopefully, you know, I can wear these, because it is really cute. So there's these pants and they're flared right and then there's this cute little cardigan i was like oh my god this is so cute and then like it comes with a little halter which i won't be wearing the halter but i have a little black or white cami that i can wear with this and i bought some boots that i can wear with this i'm just gonna try these on but it's huge okay but these are really cute and they're flared and i have these cute little black boots that i can wear with them and then like a white tank and this cute little cardigan. Like, hello. So cute. I have this hoodie. This is really cute. Where's the 
other string. Yeah, this is cute. This is cute. So I have like a white tank. I could wear it or just wear this. And then some pants. This is warm, you guys. Like, whew. It's warm. But it's cute. Yeah, this is cute. Fuchsia, apparently. Really cute too. These are fleece lined as well. Let's just try these on. Like, these are probably my favorite ones so far to try it on. And yeah. My butt looks huge in them. But I would have to wear lighter underwear, of course. But, um, <laughs> struggle muffin. These are really cute, though. And they're warm. I'm keeping these. It's like the only one they have left. And I'm not sure about this. I really love the color of it. That's why I got it. But it's a little big. However, I kind of like it. Um, it's very comfy on, and I have like a cute little like white cami I can wear under it. It does keep you warm. Like it is warmer than I would have thought it to be, which is good. And yeah, it's cute. I actually really like it. I like the color a lot. Like I really like it. And I think it'd be good for fall and stuff. Then I bought another magenta thing. I'm like really into magenta. I'm going to do a purse haul coming soon too because my husband bought me a really nice purse. It's a Louis Vuitton. And it's, it's this color. It's what cuter. And so if you guys want to see that, hit the like button and comment below. So make sure to hit subscribe and comment if you want to see the purse one. Because I have some really cute purses. Like really cute. That I've bought over the past few years. But um, one I just got recently, so Louis Vuitton, like I said, and I think I bought a couple different ones from like Shein and a couple different places as well. Um, like just general purses too. Um, so let me know. <laughs> this is really cute. This is like a little magenta zip down. Oh, this is nice and warm too, fleece lined. Now you do. <laughs> this is really cute. They only have this in size medium. However, look how cute this is on. Now with a bra, it'll be a lot cuter, obviously. <laughs> but, um, oh my God, it's so cute. It's, yeah, I was worried about this one fitting too, but it fits really nice, like really nice. And I think this would be really cute with a little bra and like cami under it, underneath. It's really cute. I really like this one. This one. I just have a couple more things to show you all, so bear with me, but what size they got? 1X. Okay, so I'm thinking these will fit too. They might be a little big. Let's see what they... Um, yeah, these are way too big, but they're very comfy, so I could just save them for like wearing around the house. I'm up once. Yeah, I think I'll just keep these and roll them up once because like rolling them up once they're fine. But, and I like that they're high waisted. And they're really cute. They're really cute. How cute this is. This is really cute. Yeah, it's cute. It's really cute. This is so cute. <laughs> this is really cute. Oh, this is great. This is great. So I did get kind of a bigger size, but it's actually fitting just perfectly. Um, a little bit big, but that's what I wanted. So I really like this a lot. Like, this is really cute. Show this. Now this is a little plaid dress that I got. This I thought would be cute over, I hope it's not too big over like a long sleeve shirt with one of my hats and boots. So I'm gonna try this on. I really need my bra on because I can't really tell how it's gonna look without it, but it goes down like to here. And I just thought like with boots and a hat and like, imagine like a white 
long sleeve or a black long sleeve. Hold on. Get ready. I look ridiculous, but I promise you it's going to come together in the end. I got these boots. They're so cute. Look how cute these are. They're over the knee and they're like the perfect shade of taupe. Okay, looks like they're going to. They're so cute, you guys. Oh my god. Can you see? Look how cute these are. These are so cute boots. These boots are really cute. <laughs> I'm so funny. But like, look how cute. I like it. I like it. I think it's cute. That's all that matters. All right, then I'm officially sweating. I like these boots though. I think they're very cute. And I'm definitely gonna be wearing them. I'm wondering if I could I'll just kind of make this like a shirt. You know, like this. And just wear like a long sleeve under it. It would be cute. That's kind of cute too. So I'm just gonna keep this too. <sighs> Did you guys make it through? So I'm going to show you the book haul really quick because, like I said, I'm swimming. And then, so I went to this little old bookshop. To this little old bookshop, I found this. It's called The New History by J.H. Robinson. I found this. It's called The Worldly Philosophers by Robert Al Heilbronner. And these looked really interesting. There were some really cool passages in these when I skimmed through them. This is the treasure of our tongue. And you know me in light language and just ancient languages and etymology I'm super into. So I'm excited about that. And this is a picture book of all the women archetypes. A pictorial archive from 19th century sources. 391 copyright free illustrations for artists and designers. And there's Mona Lisa in here. There's like a bunch of different women. And it's just, oh, it's so cool. I love this book. So I love books. I love having things to hold on to. And then I have more. I'm going to show you guys this, this part. So then I spent a little bit more because those were only a dollar. And these two, these two were a dollar. Okay, so this is Jesus Through the Centuries, His Place in History of Culture. And I was like super, like, I've been getting so many biblical passages and messages, and that's amazing. So I'm like really excited just to read this, you know. And then we have um, Through the Language Glass. Through the Language Glass. I'm like thinking through the looking glass, the languages, all of it. Like this was so me, and it was a dollar. And it's talking about the light spectrums, um, the vowels, um, the spectrums of light, I think it was, and different things. Um, language, culture, and thought. Um, so much was in this one. There's another one that I want to get um, that was a dollar that I'm going to go back and get. I forgot to get it. Um, and this one is High Renaissance Art in St. Peter's in the Vatican. And you guys know like St. Peter's and the Keys and Tartaria and all that. And the ancient architecture. Um, like St. Peter's here. Circus of Nero. Um, it shows C. This is exactly the patterns that I've been seeing everywhere all over the ancient architecture. Okay, um, they're like crosses, but it's different. Uh, the arms of these smaller crosses consist of further miniatures in their corner. Okay, I'm so excited to read this, you guys, because look, there's that magnolia cross pattern. Um, all of it's in here. It showed like the two keys. It shows like different parts of the shit um, that we're gonna get to. The inferno, the, the shit that the Vatican, you know, all of that. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty of it. This is that picture that was on the front. It shows Michelangelo in here, but this is Michelangelo Moses, begotten 1515 in Rome by San Pietro in Vincioli. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but that's the same sculpture that's depicted on the front there. Um, so my friend uh, pointed out this morning. So I'm really excited. It's got so much architecture in here. Um, yeah, just so much symbolism. 
that I really want to just read about and um, try to connect some more dots. I love having actual physical books as opposed to just reading stuff online. Um, oh my god, look at the dragons, you guys. Look at the two dragons. What is this? Etruscan tomb with the recumbent figure. 252D, 1st century BCE, Copenhagen, New York, Carlsberg, like, Pope Tech. I have a feeling that this is going to have something to do with something. <laughs> and then I got this one, you guys. I got another architecture. This one was a little bit more expensive, and so was this one. Um, I think I spent $20 for both of them. Um, $10 each around there. This is by Doreen Yarwood, The Architecture of Europe. And I'm just, I'm so excited. Look at all the pictures in here. This is so Tartaria. This is just, look, Tartaria all over this. Like, I'm like, damn. I was drawn right to these areas. We're just like newer to taking German Gothic churches as well. Um, look, there's, if, if Heidi's watching, there's that little flower pattern there um but yeah that's gotta be isn't that the notre dame 431 west front amiens hold on i'm gonna find this one and more broken and sophisticated amiens is the latest group that was built over a okay salisbury amy salisbury weird Okay, I'm going to figure it out, but yeah, there's just a lot of, like, the lions with the dragons and, like, wings, and oh my god, I'm so excited to read this. Oh my god, you have no idea. I've been trying to piece so much together. The Bridge Over Rhone at Avignon, the Pont. Here we have Italian studies again. <laughs> you know, like, so much is coming through. Oh, the amphitheaters are in here. Wow, guys, look at this. Look at that. Pulpit Siena Cathedral, Nicola Pisano, Chapter House Window, Covent of Christ, Homer, Portugal, Milan. Um, so I'm going to have to see which picture that was exactly. But oh my god. I think it's, it says plate 52. Just um, Look at the Naganats. There's Naganats on here, you guys. There's so much on here. Um, so I'm really excited to read these. Um, we're going to have some really cool videos coming. <laughs> I can guarantee that. Um, so yeah, and this is when I've been starting to read The Oracles of the Dead. I got this one a while back by Robert Temple. I've been slowly reading through these. They always draw me where I need to go, so I trust it. But yeah, so that's my haul. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a purse one soon. So let me know if that's of interest to you. And... Um, if it is, just give this a like, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, there, but I love you guys, and until next time, I'll talk to you soon.